Okay, hello folks. Uh, another episode uh, from B Beery Road Bee Farm. I still can't say that without uh, stuttering through it. Anyway, um, uh, last video on Sunday. Today is uh, Tuesday, May 20th. Uh, on Sunday, uh, we were looking through the hive and I made a comment about uh, ordering a new uh, uh, brood chamber, a new deep. It actually came in the mail yesterday. Uh, so we're going to try to uh, get that installed today. So uh, that's the uh, plan of action for this evening. Uh, I think it's about uh, 7.15 or so in the evening, and uh, we're going to get started here. So I've got the stuff down here uh, ready to go, and uh, we'll set up the camera and uh, document uh, the event. I'm also going to try to get the uh, uh, interest reducer out of there tonight, too. I brought some extra tools and stuff. So we're going to try to get that uh, interest reducer out and turned around so that the opening's a little bit bigger. Uh, so that the bees can uh, come and go a little bit easier. Okay, so a couple of missions tonight and we'll uh, try to get that done. All right, here we go. You can see I've got some of the stuff already set up down here. You can see the uh, things are kind of quiet now, so this I think is a good time to do this. Uh, the bees are trying to come back from their foraging uh, today, so a little bit quieter, I think, in the evening here. So. We're going to hope that this is a uh, good time to do this. Actually, I think what I'll do is set the camera up uh, out here a little bit further than usual. So we'll get a uh, little bit bigger picture than, uh, than usual to try to uh, record all of, the, uh, all of the events that we're going to try to do here. So actually maybe we'll even set this out away from here a little bit further, kind of like that. And trying to get some good aim on the camera there and uh, see how it goes, okay? All right, here we go. Oh, so I see some bees there with uh, pollen coming back. So they're still finding good pollen somewhere. So that's real good. Boy, there's three or four of them in a row there that just came back. So, real, real good. Yeah. I was in such a hurry on Sunday, I forgot to put the uh, rock back on the top of there. Luckily, the weather's been uh, been nice. Um, let's see. Let's start with. Guess we'll start here. With this. We might even start with the uh, entrance reducer here. See if we can uh, get that thing out of there while there's uh, potentially minimal activity there at least less than uh, during midday so I brought the uh, the big screwdriver here today so we'll see if we can get that in there and get that pulled out uh, again without smashing bees that's certainly our uh, our whole objective here so so we'll try to do that even though this is now a uh, thoroughfare for them So let's see if this is going to work. Not very good. Not very good. So we may end up with uh, what we were talking about on Sunday about picking this up and trying to do that that way. So let's see if maybe that's a uh, better solution here if we try to pick up this from there. Maybe we'll just try to lift it up just a little bit so that we can pop that loose and try to uh, try to get that out of there. Hey, excuse me, girls. Pardon the interruption, as they say. Boy, the whole thing is picking up there, huh? There we go. Now, sadly, I pushed it back in further, so not necessarily what I had in mind, but uh, it's at least loose. So let's see if we can uh, grab a hold of it and try to uh, try to get it out of there. Now, there we go, baby. All right. Now, plan of action here to uh, pull this out and uh, you can see on there that this side has got a lot of uh, opening there 
So we're going to take this and we're going to slide that. Uh, again, try not to smash bees. Let's try to put it in this way. Like this. And uh, try to... Uh, going in the end down there so we're going to try not to try not to do that we'll do this like that and like that set that back down on there there we go all right that's exactly what i was going for there was a bigger opening for them to come and go so hopefully that uh, shows up on the camera over there you can see that opening is pretty good size there, uh, big enough for them to uh, come and go easily, uh, hopefully enough for them to, uh, to be able to guard that. Um, the opening is small so that uh, mice can't get in there, uh, so it, uh, it covers a lot of things. So that certainly is the, uh, the goal, and uh, <laughs> that went real well. So here we go, now we're going to move on. We're going to add a, uh, a another brood chamber on top. So uh, move on to that uh, that step next here. Okay. Now let's. Uh, I think the other thing I'm going to have to do. I brought the uh, I brought the uh, smoker with me again today. Um, what I'm going to do too is I'm going to. Uh, Raise this up. Okay, let's, uh, uh oh, a little too close to the briar patch behind me. Okay, I'm going to turn the uh, I'm gonna raise this up a little bit and see if that doesn't uh, give us a little nicer picture there. See if that uh, really works. Turn that down. I think we're a good enough distance away from that that uh, that, that should give us a, uh, a good picture, okay? All right, now, I do want to go ahead and light my uh, smoker up here. Shouldn't have a lot of things to do here, but I'm just going to uh, get the uh, cover off of here, the inner cover off, and then uh, try to smoke the bees down enough that when I set that uh, brood chamber on there, I don't smash a lot of bees. So. Uh, so that'll be the goal, okay? All right, back to this. See about getting this lit. Like so. Alrighty, good. smoke nicely. Assume that'll stay lit for the next few minutes while we uh, get in there. Okay. All right. Now let's. Uh, not going to have to get into the uh, frames or anything in there, so we're just going to uh, pull the top off here. No bees on that one. Pull the uh, inner cover off here, like this. Whoops! Just uh, the glue just seals that down really good, doesn't it? Okay. So a little burr comb on top here that they're working on. Try to chase them away from that real quick. We just keep on. Uh, Keep on working that. We'll try to get that uh, get that off of there. Come on, let go of there. Sticky stuff. All right, <clears throat> there's some on this again too, so we'll peel that off. Guard bees are uh, added already. <laughs> All right, girls, I know, I know. Okay. 
these on there. We'll try to put that down gently. Shouldn't be off of there too long. Okay, so really this isn't going to take too long here. This is going to amount to uh, gosh, and there really aren't any uh, there aren't any bees along the edge here. So I might be able to just pick that up and set that right down there and not have to uh, smoke them or do anything to them. So that could actually work out really well. I can note real quick on the camera that I marked the frames and just numbered them real quick and labeled them from uh, Long Lane Honeybee Farm that I bought this uh, uh, deep from. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to plop that baby right on top there like that. Careful not to smash any bees. All right, and uh, try to get that centered up there real nice. And uh, should be good. Okay, I think my uh, foundation is pretty good there. So we'll take these, we'll center these up into the middle here. We'll push those together like that that. We have our bee space uh, nice there. Okay. And some empty frames. I guess I can show you that real quick too while we're doing this. These are just uh, empty frames with foundation on them. I found that to be a good uh, head start for the uh, girls to get working on and start drawing that out. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll let them do that. So there's already some bees up here exploring. So uh, Away they go. This is pretty easy. Put this uh, inner cover back on, like so. Now it'll be glued to this top. <laughs> so uh, we'll do that. Put the uh, cover back on. done. Gosh, that couldn't have been much easier. So uh, there we go. We've got uh, two brood chambers on now. Uh, the next thing to do would be to uh, to add the, uh, the uh, supers on top of that, the honey supers. So after we let them get this uh, drawn out a little bit more uh, and get this filled up, hopefully with brood and lots of bees, uh, we'll add a, uh, a super on top of this for honey. Uh, we'll potentially put the queen excluder up here uh, that keeps the queen from going up into the top parts of the hive and uh, laying eggs and uh, making babies up there and then it'll just strictly be honey producing up on top so uh, so we'll see how that goes we'll let them expand into there we'll let them feel comfortable of uh, having room to grow into and hopefully that'll keep them from swarming that's one of the uh, one of the big things that we're trying to do is to uh, to prevent them from uh, from swarming so this will likely uh, prevent that, uh, I guess hopefully prevent that. I'm not the uh, expert to know for sure, but uh, uh, the goal is that if they have space to grow into, then that uh, means that they don't have to uh, feel like they're cramped and uh, need to swarm. So, so we'll hope that that's true. So that's the plan going forward, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So. I guess we'll enjoy the video here for a few minutes. Uh, watch the bees as they're coming back. The foragers are out uh, still collecting uh, pollen and nectar. So really now the goal is going to be probably to keep, uh, keep the uh, sugar water going too because I think they use that a lot for drawing foundation. So we're going to have to keep the uh, sugar water full help the uh, bees inside to uh, continue to uh, uh, have what they need to uh, draw out the foundation that's up here because all that's fresh foundation and once we get that all drawn out then that'll uh, reduce the amount of work that they have to do to actually uh, uh, continue building the hive and then they can just bring in pollen and stores and uh, and uh, just create brood so so we'll try to get that done um, I do have a whole, <laughs> I have a whole nother one of these, uh, 
from the original hive uh, that matches this one, but uh, I have so much honey uh, that there was left over from the winter that they didn't eat, that the uh, old hive didn't eat, that I just have it in the freezer. So uh, I have uh, probably, I think it must be seven frames of just nothing but full honey. So I decided I was just going to keep it, put it in the freezer, and in case I needed it, need it for something, uh, I'm just going to keep it for a while. And uh, if the girls do real well here this summer, and uh, seem like they've got plenty of honey to uh, to overwinter with, uh, then I may consider harvesting that honey that I have in those uh, those other frames. So I have three other frames in there that I debated about putting in here that need to be cleaned up. Uh, so. I ended up just deciding to go ahead and let them draw that out and pretend like that's all brand new. Uh, uh, it really is, doesn't they don't have to pretend, but that's brand new area for them to uh, grow into. So that should give them plenty of work to do uh, here in the next uh, certainly few weeks uh, to draw that out and get that ready for uh, uh, more brood laying and bringing in more uh, pollen, etc. So uh, so we'll see. Now we noticed last week. Uh, last week, uh, on Sunday, two days ago, there was lots of brood uh, in the uh, in the frames in there. So I'm assuming that uh, uh, here very soon we're going to have lots new bees, lots of new bees. Uh, so I'm hoping that that'll help create the growth uh, in here. We'll have lots of new bees that can spread out and uh, start working inside uh, to uh, to draw out that uh, comb and uh, keep expanding the hive. So. That'll be the goal. That's what we'll uh, hope is going to happen, and we'll uh, we'll check on that uh, probably on uh, Sunday this week if we have time. Uh, this weekend, sometime we'll check on it again and see if they've uh, uh, begun working up there. They still had a few frames even down here, and we talked about that a little bit on Sunday too. That you know a lot of times they recommend just you know letting them get cramped because that helps kind of force them out to the edges, and then. You know, helps them to uh, draw out the rest of the comb that's in there. We still had several frames in there that uh, still needed to be drawn out, at least on one side. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if they uh, draw that out too, and uh, and also start working up here uh, to expand.